Hi everyone, I'm Tess from the Indian Block Print Company and thank you for joining me for a project printing video. In this video, I want to show you how you can personalize your printed creation. So this is sort of like a stenciling video, but what we're gonna be doing is using masking tape to block off a certain area of the fabric. And then you're gonna be printing within that. And then once you finish, we'll take the masking tape off and it will re reveal your print. So I've been doing it with letters, but you could make any shape you wanted. But I'm gonna be showing you with the letter T today. So you can see here, I've got a lovely printed cushion cover with the letter L. Now this is like a woodland theme. I've used earthy colors and leaf, leaf printing blocks. Now that's really lovely. And then I've got a bag here as well with the letter H. And this is done with lovely paisley patterns in blues. Now this is a really great project for adults and children. So I hope you'll be inspired to make something. So I'm going to change my table setup round and I'll show you how to do it. So I've got my table set up. So the extra bits of equipment you're going to need for this project is I've got my foam printing mat. I've got my paint tray with my colours. Now I'll tell you what my colours are in case you like the look of them. So I'm going to be using violet, aquamarine, coral, khaki, leafy green, Indian yellow and Indian aqua. So I wanted this to be quite a bright project, but I'm using my dusky colors. Now this here is what I'm gonna be printing. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. So I've got my tote bag on the printing table and I've started to use my masking tape to create the letter T. So that's what you're going to need to do. Now I'd suggest using more than just one piece of masking tape. You want to mask off a, a nice area that's going to block off any of your block prints. So I'm going to finish the masking tape on the top of the letter T. And if you have any actual cut out stencils or anything at home, you could use those. But I've just made my letter by eye. So you use the masking tape so you can see there. So I'm going to print within this area. Now I'm going to be using a mixture of leaf and flower designs. I've got a little bit of a range of sizes. Now it's quite important to have a nice mix. And you're going to be working from one side of the fabric to the other. Now something that's really important with this project is that you always print over the masking tape. You want to have half prints when we peel the masking tape off, so that's really important. So always make sure you're printing over the edge of the masking tape and not just in the middle. So I'm gonna get printing and I'm just gonna work my way across the fabric with the different size blocks. And you want to fill in every space possible. And that's why we have a range of different size blocks so you've always got something to fill in the gaps. And something you want to do with this design is you want to overlap the prints. You don't want to have any space in between them because obviously once you peel your tape away, You've only got a very small printing area, so it looks better if you overlap the designs. And I just print one at a time. I tend to stick to the same colour on the same block, but if you want to change them, you can. But that just gives it some consistency, so you can pick your colours at the beginning of the project. And as you can see here, I'm printing right up next to the previous print, if not overlapping, so you don't have any gaps in the middle. But like I said, if you do have any gaps, then we can fill them in at the end with a very little block. So I'm gonna print all the way across this tote bag, and I'll speed it up so you don't get bored, and I'll show you how it looks in a minute.
So I've nearly finished printing this letter T and as you can see I've really tried to print each design very close to the next if not slightly overlapping and that just adds to the design so when you're practicing this you can have a go and um, you may need to build your confidence slightly with the overlapping the first couple of times you try it they may be a little bit too far apart but as you try it more and more you'll find they get closer and closer together and that just fills in all the gaps so you get this really bright colorful print so I'm just using a big mix of designs. You don't need to use anything specifically. All I would suggest is using a mix of sizes. So you've got a couple of bigger ones and a couple of small ones. And then a nice mix of colors. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I've tried a couple of different colorways. So I've done just blues. So I used four or five different blues. And then for the letter L cushion, I used more earthy colors and I just used another five or six colours. So it really works with whatever you have at home. So you don't need anything specific for this project. But like I said, you can really see I've printed lots over the masking tape. And that's really important that you get lots of half prints. And we'll see what that reveals at the end. So I've got a couple more prints to do. And then I'm just going to go back over with my miniature design. So my little diddlies and just fill in any gaps that I have. So that's where I'm going to use things like this. I've got a tiny little flower and a little sprig and they're going to be really helpful for just little gaps like here, hardly noticeable, but it will just help bring the design together. Then once I've printed these miniature designs and filled in all the gaps, I'm going to allow it five or ten minutes to dry before removing the tape. So I would suggest you do the same and then we can finish the bag off and add some prints around the edge if you want to. So I'll wait for it to dry and then I will show you the peeling off process. So I've waited for my bag to dry and all the prints are nice and dry now so I'm going to remove the tape and reveal the print. So this is the exciting part. Now hopefully you can see this is a really lovely design that children can do as well. I think it's really fun to create a letter, printed letter, and you can do this on cushion covers, bags, even t-shirts or pillowcases, it would work really well. And we're just going to pull this off so it's important to wait for it to be perfectly dry so you don't smudge anything. And you can see we've got these lovely crisp prints around the edge. And that's why it's so important to print over the edge of the masking tape. Otherwise, you don't get such a good printed effect. So one last bit to remove. And there we have the lovely letter T. Now, to finish this off, I'm just going to add a few prints around the edge using the smallest blocks I've got just to bring it together. And then I will show you how the finished bag looks. And here we have my finished tote bag. So as you can see, I added a couple of little extra designs around the edge of the printed letter. And that just brings it all together, makes it feel like there's less blank space. But I'm really happy with the finished result. I think it looks really funky and I think they make lovely gifts to give to people or like I said, a really good project for children. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you're inspired to print your own. Thanks very much for watching.